Hi everybody. Um, it is Evie the Elf Pet, and I'm going to be doing a uh, review of products that I I personally did not like, and I'm going to be. Um, it's in this little bag. I put them in. This is actually going to be a gift for my sister-in-law, um, Tori, because she. Um, I know she likes makeup, and I think she'll like some of the stuff in here. I didn't like it personally, but that's just because. I, I didn't find it useful. Um, it's not all elf products, just so you know. I know it's in an elf bag, but it's not. And because I'm going to be doing a lot of unboxing videos and uh, videos where I compare products and products that I like and ordering a lot of makeup products, um, I've decided that once a month I'm going to try and put together um, a products I do not like or products I I personally think it's not good for me or or for whatever reason I'm I'm not going to use these products in the future whether it means I've used them or I haven't used them and I'll clean them sanitize them and everything and I think I'm going to do a giveaway once a month um, I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do that whether it's going to be through a survey or through a raffle or what exactly but um, I think once I start doing that that might be um, a good way for my subscribers to feel like they I care about them because I do and I know I don't have that many right now but I think each one of you guys are so important to my channel and I really want to not just mention you guys um, in passing like I have done in the past but I also want to be able to give you guys stuff when there's an opportunity and there's um there's products that I, that I have extras of like some of these products I have extras of I have like an extra one of these I'm pretty sure I gave it to my friend or something but when I get extra products of the same one or products that I'm not going to use I would rather give them away and send someone a lovely care package of makeup than just throw them away because I think that's a waste um so this is like not this again these products are not all else some of them are some of them aren't um and these are just my humble opinions of these products. This does not mean that these makeup products suck or that these makeup products are horrible. These products are just products that I personally do not like. Um, everyone has their own preference for products, and I that's part of the reason why. So all of these brands that I'm going to be mentioning are brands I would 100% buy, 100% use again, have talked about before in, in videos of like, OMG, I love these products. So this is just a product of stuff I don't like or I don't know how I'm going to title this yet because I'm kind of like I don't want to just be like products I hate because that's not what it is. It's, I guess I'm just going to be like products I'm re-gifting or products I, I don't know guys, I'm trying to figure this out. Um, let's see. I could say something like personal preference products I don't like. So I'll probably say something like that because um, that's that. So I'm going to start with um, these are, I actually do like these. Um, I have other ones here, but I've got so many of them that I was like, I'm going to toss these in here for her. Um, these are sponges and you can use them for foundation or you can use them for just on your face. And so I, I threw in three of these because I've got like one, two, three, I'll throw in four because I've got eight total. So I'll have four and she has four. So that's those four. And I like those sponges. I use them all the time. I just um, I just had extras and I thought, oh, she could use that. And that's the same reason why I'm putting in two of these brushes. This brush is just a simple, I think it came in a kit. I don't have any of the other ones. I just have this one. And I'm pretty sure it's a foundation brush. Um, I've had this for a while. Um, I'm not sure how long, to be honest. I've had this for, this was one of my very first brushes. I have another one right here. I'll probably give her both of these because I have other brushes that I use more often from e.l.f. that and these products these brushes are still really good this is like an eyeshadow or lip gloss pencil or not pencil um makeup brush and um they're really soft brushes I just I don't use them I use my e.l.f. products e.l.f. brush products more so I'm giving her these two as well um and then I did a review of the Dollar Tree Kabuki brush and the Elf Kabuki brush. 
I am giving her the Dollar Tree Kabuki brush, and I will just be honest, it is because of the fact that I am not going to use this. I have tried both, and I grab, I have, since I have gotten the e.l.f. Kabuki brush, I am grabbing that brush more. So, nothing against this brush, I just am not using it, and I don't want it to go to waste, so I'm giving her the Kabuki brush as well. Um, so this is by a company called Makeup Essentials, and it comes with two kits. Um, one of them I gave to a different friend. Um, the other one, this is the kit. It's in Makeover Essentials Sunrise, and this is in the natural shade colors. It has, um, this is the blush. It's like a pink color, and then there's two lip glosses. One, there, one's like a sparkly one, and one is like um, a, a matty one, I guess is the best way to phrase it. Then there's a bronzer in here as well. It comes with one of these little cute little brushes, and then it comes with eyeshadow and um, lip brushes. And then it comes with three eyeshadow shades. One is like a neutral one, one is a darker color brown, and one is a golden color. So, um... Let's just re-swatch those, and I'll swatch them on my hand real quick. Um, so they're they're nice. Uh, I just don't like them. I'm not going to use this palette. Um, the brand, though, if you're interested, it does come in a duo kit, and it comes with a little case. Um, it's called Makeover Essentials. Um, and so this product I'm giving to, like I said, my sister-in-law, not because I didn't like it, but just because I'm not going to use it. I haven't used it, and I'm... That's mainly because of the fact that I, I don't like the palette style that it's given me. Um, it's not colors I would use, especially for my lips. Um, so, and I'm, like you guys know, I love lipsticks and lip colors. I'm actually wearing um, the, in case you guys were wondering, I am actually wearing lipsticks today. I know it's super subtle, but that's because I just did one layer and it is the pink, um, the pink one that I cannot stop talking about. Uh, the I'm gonna eventually like have this name. Got a glow lip tint in pink, um, in perfect pink. So I'm just gonna retouch up, just cause you know. I'm in the middle of the video, and I was like, oh, hey, lipstick, and I was like, it doesn't look like I'm wearing anything, like, but I am, so I should mention it, so I am, <laughs> so, um, you know how that is, so that's the one, then the next one, okay, so these are the one, two, I'm just making sure it's only these two, yeah, it's just these two, okay, so it's these two, and these are the Shadowholic 12 hour waterproof eye, eye crayon from Hard Candy. And it, one is in blue and one is in, or let me rephrase that, one is in Cloud Nine and one is in Camelback. And I semi attempted to use these. Um, I say semi attempted because I tried, I did it on my hand and you can see how pigmented these colors are. The blue is such a pretty color and the, the caramel, the, it's like caramel, but it's camel. Camelback one is also a really pretty neutral brown glitter one um, next to it. But applying to here versus applying to eye, very different. Um, not bad, just different. They do come with sharpeners, which I'm assuming are on the bottom somewhere around here. If not, I have to remember to put one in there. They do come with sharpeners because they are bigger ones. Um, the, again, these shades are so pretty. And if they were in a uh, little pot, I would totally use it. But because it's in a crayon form, I felt so... It scared me to put the, the crayon part by my eye. I, I'm just being honest. Because you have to apply a lot of pressure to get the product onto your skin. And maybe it was because I didn't prime my lids or for whatever, but I did not like those. Um, so that's that. Next is glosses. And I'm not opening these to swatch you them. I'm just going to show them to you. Um, let me grab all of them. 
And you guys know the reason behind this. I don't really need to explain. Um, <laughs> I will, but I don't have to. I'm very particular about my lip gloss wands, and these ones are going to be too small. These are the Plumping Serum Volumizing Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Spark, and it's like a pink color. It still has um, it in it, and I think she's going to like that color. And then this one is in Dunes, and it's more of like a nudie color. And um, again, I just, I'm not going to like these because of the wand. This one is from e.l.f. Um, it was the first lip lip gloss that I got from them. It's called the Extra Lip Gloss. Um, the wand, again, I'm just so picky about lip gloss wands. The color is a very pretty color, but this wand is so thin, and it's, I just don't like thin wands. The end. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I like them to be bigger because for some reason, I just, I think they're too small, and then they get too sticky, and it doesn't get enough product, but it has too much product, and then too little product, and everything in between. All right, so now I'm going to talk about some lipsticks I threw in here for her. Um, two of them, or I take that back, one of them is from ELF, one of them is from NYC, and then the other three are from Hard Candy, and they are in the Ombre Lipstick. Uh, it's three of them. The first one is Darling, or Daring, I mean. And um, that's this color here. I don't like the formula of these. I don't like, yeah, I don't like the smell of these either. Um, and I, I think Ombre is a cool idea. But I don't, I didn't see it being something I could put on my lips. And then this is a darker color, and that is in the shade, holy crap, I don't know. Um, I don't know what shade this is. Somehow the plastic part came off of it. Um, crap. It's this shade here. I will just call it dark purple or purple pink. It'll be the purple pink shade. And this is in the light pink red stage which is daring. And then this is practical, which out of all of them, this is the one I was kind of like, maybe I could use it. And then I swatched it and I'm like, I don't like these lipsticks. I just do not like them. <laughs> um, and that's impractical. And it's a very cute nude color. It's a, so pretty. It is a really great color. But again, I just do not like these formulas and I do not like these props. I don't like the specific lipstick products. Um, Hard Candy does have other lipsticks I saw. I haven't tried any of their other ones yet, but I think I'm going to have to because I really didn't like these ones, and I don't think it's fair for me to just be like, oh, I don't like these, and not compare a different Hard Candy lipstick because I'm sure they have some one. At least, they'll have at least one that I'll like. So, that's that. Then the next one is, this is Elf, and this is in Fearless, and I know I said I just got this one. But I do have a red that I like more from NYC, and um, I like it, and it doesn't have, the e.l.f. lipstick has kind of like a weird smell to it. It's not horribly weird, but it's like a, a fruity tone, and I don't really like that um, on my lips sometimes. It's a very pretty, beautiful red color. I just don't. Um, I have another red that I'm, I really am enjoying right now from NYC, and I have other reds, too, from e.l.f. Um, I have the, um, what is it called? It's their matte lip, and it's um, rich red, I believe is what it's called, and I love that red color, um, so that's that. And then this is the NYC Chiffron, and I've seen her wear um, pink colors like this before, so I think she'll like this color as well, and that's this kind of like nudie pink color right here it shimmers in the light um i don't know if you can see it but it's this really cute pink color so um like i said i'll be cleaning all these products but um i do think she's gonna like these so that's those products real quick um i have a couple more real quick i'm gonna try and do i know that this video is probably gonna be close to 20 minutes or 25:30, honestly. So if you do not want to spend the entire time watching this, you do not have to. You can forward it or just stop watching. 
So, and maybe I might be wrong. Maybe I'm like just super wrong on time right now. So the next products I'm going to be putting in, um, I'm going to talk about these two products. I already mentioned in my last video the e.l.f. HD blush and how much I do not like this. So, again, I will just explain. I thought I was going to love it because of the pump. The color, though, is such a rich pink color that um, I didn't, I really honestly, um, I did not like it. You don't need a lot of the color for it to come out mega super pigmented. But honestly, this shade, as you can see, it's so bright. And some people like that. I am not that person. Um, now, as I said, I'm not saying that I do not like this formula. I love this formula for the blush. I love the fact that it's a liquid blush. Um, I just don't like this shade, and that is in headliner. So I'm hoping that they have, like, a peachy color um, as an HD blush. I'm going to look. I haven't looked before, um, but I am going to look after this video. Um and see if it has, um, if they have like a peach color, because I wouldn't mind owning an, a peach color or a lighter shade. And this is um, the Shimmering Facial Whip in Lilac Petal. And you can use this for your eyes, your lips, or your face. Um, or as henna, which, <laughs> I mean, you can't really use it for henna, but I'm, I'm kind of making a joke. It's a very cute little tube. Um, I have this in peach, in perfect peach or peach something. I have it in the peach color, and I love the peach color. The lilac color, though, it is very metallic-y pink. It does come out to a nice color, but it's honestly, it's a pink color that I wouldn't wear on my cheeks, my lips, or my eyes. Um, and so because of that, I know I'm not going to use it. And it was only a dollar, but I think she's going to love that product. Um... Next, we have our Elf Eyebrow Kit. Now, this was my very first Elf, Elf uh, my very first Elf Eyebrow Kit that I had any any type of eyebrow anything. It was my very first Elf uh, Eyebrow Kit at all. And for a beginner, this was too much. Um, what I mean by that is that if I had known how to do my eyebrows before, I would be fine with this. I would be like, okay, that's fine. But as someone who doesn't know what they're doing I kind of had to figure it out let like, you put the wax on and then you put the powder or you put your powder on and then the wax and honestly like I've come to realize that for me for my brows I want something that's going to just be fast something that's going to be just a one step one or two step at the most type of a product um, and this just wasn't doing that for me and it's not a bad product at all I really do recommend it I would see myself maybe once I get more comfortable with doing my eyebrows using this, but because I don't see myself using this within the next three months, I'm going to give it to her because I really think she's going to enjoy using it. And she has the same kind of um, uh, eyebrows as me. Not the same. She's um, a little bit lighter, and this is in the shade. Careful. She's in the shade. This is in the shade light, so I think that'll really help her, too. Um, next is... Um, the Ipsy NYX eye, um, Eyebrow Kit. Now, <laughs> this is something that came in my Ipsy package, and this was my first NYX product, and I was like, OMG, this is so great. But the truth of the matter is that even though it's a really cute product for your eyeshadow, um, it doesn't have a mirror. And I know that, that for some people that doesn't matter, but for me it does. Um, uh, when I'm trying to apply my eyeshadow, I want a mirror that I can see right here, even if it's just a little thin one right here. Um, just so that way I can kind of see what I'm doing, um, especially because I have to take off my glasses. Now, this brush, I will tell you right now, this brush is such a great eyeshadow brush. I really like how they made it. The colors are also really cute, too. Um, you have a nice, like, glittery brown color right there. And then you've got, like, a richer chocolatey brown color. Um, and then you've got a nice, beautiful dark black um, now the thing is, though, is that out of all three of those shades, um, I'm sure you can layer it on again, and I'm sure that these swatches could be better if you have, um, more, more on it, but honestly, out of these shades, the black one was the only one that I thought really was super pigmented, um, and because of that, I don't wear black eyeshadow, so I was like, I'm not going to really use this palette, um, and so I'm giving it away, <laughs> 
And I know that she likes to do dark, uh, smoky eyes, dark shadows, and everything like that. Um, and so I think she's going to really enjoy this. And again, this was my very first NYX packet. I do like how NYX has it formulated. This is also really great um, packaging. It's really cute, too. It has a bow. And again, like I said, the brush inside is really great. I just don't see myself using this in the future. So uh, that being said, I do plan on buying some NYX products soon, probably from Ulta. And I do really recommend using Ipsy. Um, I get an Ipsy package once a month. So just so you know. Um, next is the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. And I did mention this in the other video. This is in Turks and Caicos. Um, and I do not use, this is the bronzer, um, and this skin tone is too dark for my skin. Um, I think it's a really nice combo, but it's just too dark for me. I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this. I don't wear a lot of night makeup. She does dance, and she does use a lot of night makeup. So I think she'll like this um, for when she does performances and stuff. Um, next is... Uh, two products from Milani. This is the T Rose um, Powder Blush and the Hermosa Rose Illuminating Face Powder, which can be used as an ultra smooth highlighter, bronzer, and blush. So you can use it for all three. Um, the Powder Blush from Milani, it looks like a flower. It's a very pretty pink color, but honestly, I just didn't. I couldn't see myself applying that much just to get a glow. Um, and again, like I kind of. Like, I'm kind of blending it, but it's still really, it's just super duper pink. And I, I bought this and thinking I was going to like it. Um, I do not like the shade. Maybe if there was a lighter shade, they probably have a lighter shade. Um, I would try that. But right now, I did not like the tears. I also, to be honest, um, I also did not like the formula. Not that I'm not honest with you guys, but... I really didn't like this powder compared to um, the e.l.f. powder blushes. I feel like the e.l.f. powder ones are longer lasting than, oh goodness, makeup everywhere. Okay, well, nothing broke, <laughs> so that's important. Um, yeah, nothing broke, so we're okay. Um, so this is the Milani powder brush, and like I said, it's not a bad product. I'm going to probably try one or two things from Milani. To be honest, their prices are really expensive, and even though I got both of these, I've never really used these. I don't consider them my go-to products. They didn't really wow or impress me for the price um, that I spent on them. The next one is the Illuminating Face Powder, and I kind of like the Illuminating Face Powder more than I liked the blush. This one I could see myself maybe buying again, but it's, I guess you could technically use it for a blush or a bronzer. Um, I only really see a use for this as a highlighter. It's so shiny. Um, not glittery shiny, but like illuminating, um, hydrating shiny. So that is that. And I think, um, that is all the products. Let me just make sure I didn't like drop any from here. Um, so yeah, so that is all of the products from this um, set that I'm going to be giving to my sister-in-law. Like I said, if you guys want me to do like monthly gift bags, um, that's what I'll call them, monthly gift bags. So if you want me to do monthly gift bags out of products that I do not like and or products that I don't see myself using in the future, from new products. I'll try to do that. I don't necessarily know if they'll be every single month. Maybe one month there'll be more products. Maybe one month there'll be less products. It just depends. Um, so this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oops. 16, I'm going to count all four of these as 17, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So this one has, for instance, 
21 products in here. Um, and like I said, this is going to be a gift for my sister-in-law. Um, I think she's really going to like this. And um, maybe I'll do these in the future for my subscribers. I think that it would be a really good thing to do. So if you guys like that idea, like this video. Um, <laughs> just so I can get kind of a response from that. And I'll try and do that in the future. So thank you for watching this 25-minute video. Ah, so long. Um, I really do value that you guys do watch my videos. And again, thank you from the bottom of my heart that you subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, you can hit the subscribe button below. Um, I post videos at least once a week, sometimes two, three times a week, um, just based off of what products I'm getting in the mail, as well as products that I have bought or am looking at buying. For instance, I'm going to be getting an e.l.f. package in the mail on Friday from um, e.l.f. So I'm excited about that because it is the missing piece from my e.l.f. kit that I ordered. So I'm really excited about that because it's going to be like a kit. So it's going to be several items, not just like one item. Um, and then I'll be ordering some e.l.f. products soon, maybe on Friday, maybe in a week or two. I'm kind of trying to debate what I'm going to be doing with that. So, um, yeah. So, as always, stay beautiful. I love you from the bottom of my heart. And, mwah. Bye, guys.